Welcome back to the best of the worst. So far, Askia, Montezuma, and Pakal are not the best of the worst. And I'm gonna attack Babylon very shortly after I do this. Embargo of Sweden. Well, I don't really care about Sweden. Or cultural heritage sites. People don't usually vote for this. Wait, I'm the host, but Babylon has the most delegates. What? Whatever, um... Full of cultural heritage sites and an A when it comes to Embargo going Sweden. I forget who's all at war with who. Um, what? Byzantium just lost their capital. Alright, they still have three cities, I'm pretty sure. There's this one. Uh, those three, right? It should say 27 under their score for cities. Yeah. Ooh, I can do all of this. What cultural heritage sites passed? Everyone voted for embargoing Babylon. I mean, Sweden. Nice. Um... What do I want now? I could use some more science, because Assyria is getting really close to beating me in science. Oh. You know what? I should just stop assuming things. Alright, what do I want now? It's an embargo against people. Arts funding, sciences funding. I don't like those. World religion. I don't have a religion. I don't think I have any natural wonders. I don't want a world's fair. Scholars and residents, no. Oh, I don't really want anything. Can I just not propose anything at all? I don't have any enemies I would like to embargo. And Babylon's already embargoed, so I really don't know. Um, you know what I'll do? I'll do natural heritage sites, because no one votes for that. And I'll just vote up or down the other one. Oh, anyway, Babylon, how you doing? All my people have movement now. Nishtadati. Yes, I have news and an offer. The news is... You have to die. And now he reveals that he thinks I'm a warmonger. Um, Monaco, 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 what are you doing, Monaco? Oh, I didn't see this coming at all. Alright, fine. Then, you know what, ships, my ships can't even go up here because the city's in the way. Alright, people just land. Land somewhere. Ah, I don't know what to do. I don't want the city to shoot at my people. I did not know that Monica was an ally. Alright, you... Just... Get out of the way of the city. Why, Monaco? How much influence does he have on him? Not much, only 62. Oh, I could have waited like three turns, but whatever. It's done now. My turtle ship's gonna die. And I really can't defend these artillery. But you know what? These guys can't go on land to begin with. So I'm just gonna... Move you here. I don't know what to do. I did not see this coming. Really should have paid attention. I feel like if I attack Oxmal with this turtle ship, the turtle ship will die. So I'll only attack this one. Ah, forget it. I'll attack. <laughs> Might as well attack everyone. I don't plan on taking over Monaco, because everyone will hate me. But that kind of contradicts my uh, desire to take over Wittenberg at one point. But they're my ally now. Don't kill me, please. Oh, they died? Oh, no, they didn't. Oh, Monaco didn't move yet, that's why. And now they died. My great general still alive? Yeah, I don't think that's anything will take him. Ah, oh, no, don't die, please. He's dead. Well, they have four of these guys. Gallius. Oh, well, that sucks. Alright. Um. Just go somewhere. Land. I don't want you in the water. It's dangerous in the water. There's sharks and sea bears. Hmm. Alright, my turtle ship needs to just live. That's it. 
can't move you anywhere, so we'll just go down here. How far can I move you? I can't really attack these two ships. My turtle ship can, though. Well, this one can. But if I attack this ship, it will be in vain because he will die. Because the city can shoot at me. And if I move this artillery piece, it'll die. So, I did not see this coming. I think I might die here. Well, not my army might die. This attack might not be successful. What's this? Oh. Oh yeah, Assyria and Babylon are at- not Babylon. Byzantium are at war. Oh, they have people now. Oh, this is a poorly planned attack. As long as I get all my people on land, I should be okay. Except they have the Great Wall, so I really can't move anyone inside their borders. Alright, so this artillery will die, but I will damage Uxmal. And I think if all goes well, as long as I don't build a military base in their city, or buy one, I should be able to take it over in one or two turns. So, what do I want to build here? Um... I could use a windmill. More production. Need to get my great general out of the way. Uh, just stay here. Oh, I didn't read that spy thing. Probably wasn't important. I don't think I'm spying on anyone. No, I have my... I have one spy in my city and the other in Biblos rigging elections. So it must be because someone stole from me and I wasn't paying attention. Ah, oh, Babylon declared war on Sweden anyway. Not very bright. Oh, he's still alive! Barely. You can tell by the little health bar. It tells you ahead of time. And, wait, Mo Monica was unhappy. How is the city-state unhappy? Anyway. Um, Uxmal, you have to die now. I'm gonna have to lose you. Sorry. So I guess Sweden will like me more for fighting against them. I mean, fighting against their enemy. Extreme? I will, ex I will get an extreme penalty. Alright, fine. And now the Great Wall has no effect on these people. And now you guys can heal, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, my ships can heal. Uh, you can't go anywhere, right? Well, you could land here, but I don't want you to land there. So just stay here. And you heal. I think I'm gonna fire on Monaco's ships. Well, you know what? If people start denouncing me, then I will take over Monaco, because I won't lose anything. Mean van. Yes. Yeah, mean We're fighting against a common foe. How's Byzantium holding up? I can't see this city, but Gao looks okay, and the other one's okay. Yeah, I'm sorry guys, you have to die. You lived a good life, I think. I hope you did. City-states can actually take over cities. I've seen it done before. I've actually seen Greece be defeated by a city-state. His last city was taken over by one. It was pretty funny. What I want to do is move you... No. Yeah, you, you here. And the artillery in the city. And we should be good. Uh, move here. What kind of army do they have? We should absolutely be able to crush them. Cool. So all I have to do is set up my artillery, I think. Maybe in the north, maybe in the south. I think it'll be harder in the south, though, because there's only one tile in between the mountain and the coast for me to move my, my people. Oh, that was a great move. You're gonna die. 
Oh, they have two of them. But this guy can't fire on me. Another city-state. It's purple. Four purple city-states. Oh, wait, if Sweden takes over Monaco, I won't get any blame. That'd be great for me. Although I could just take over Babylon and leave Monaco alone. But Monaco appears to want to attack me. And the Inca are moving people in my territory. Okay, you can't fire at any more ships, but you can fire at this guy. And not kill him like you said you were going to. I'm not going to attack these ships. Uh, you can just move back one. So you aren't fired on. And I want you to just move forward. Taking over Babylon shouldn't really be hard. I really don't want to... Jinx? Yeah, I don't believe in jinxes, but still. And Babylon doesn't appear to be taking over Sweden at all. Wait, they pillaged their gold, so that means they're, they're more unhappy, right? I didn't really think city-states actually had happiness. I thought they were just not even real players. No, they're not any less happy. Oh, I have an idea. Actually, no, I'm not going to use this city fire thing. Just attack them. can move ahead and then pillage. Oh, they actually have people, what do you know? Oh no, Sweden's running away. So, no, Sweden, take over Monaco, please. It would help me greatly. Uh, you can't really move anywhere, so just go on the road. On the road again. You guys can just stay alert. Actually, no, go in the city. I don't know why you can't stay alert in the city. You can only sleep or just do nothing. Well, I don't usually lend people money, but you seem to be in trouble. I lent the Aztecs money and they died right after. And that, Byz that Byzantine city has been taken over. There used to be borders over here and now there are not. No. I'm going to kill you. You took, like, four of my wonders. Oh, no. I was worried about that. That's why you always move a melee unit first. Oh, now it's promoted. I killed a spy. A Celtic spy? Why are the Celts spying on me? They're my ally. Celts. Alright, you guys just kill this guy. And I can't move him forward. Oh, no. Fine, just heal then. I didn't bring enough artillery. Build more. Oh, Scrubadelphia isn't even growing. 28 turns until the next citizen is born. Or until the next size of the city. Until the size go up, goes up. I really don't think only 26 people are in a city. Yes, I forgive you. Assyria is now the ally of Byblos. Why? Oh, only 8 influence, though. I can bribe them, I think. And I'm losing grasp on Wittenberg. Oh, no. Wait, no, uh, I could lead a coup, or I could just wait. I'm gonna just gonna wait five turns and bribe Byblos, I mean Wittenberg. But I really need more money. Oh cool, you can heal. And fire on Babylon. I can't really move you anywhere yet. 
In a few more turns I can, though. Worker, I don't really care. I'm not paying attention to you. And you can move on these hills. How is a frigate losing to a Droman? That Droman is a Trireme replacement. And a frigate is a frigate. Oh, it died. Ha! Your weapons have no effect on me! Oh, Sweden's actually attacking Monaco. Oh, I killed an Aiken spy. Guys! Stop spying on me! Please. I bet once I take over Babylon, everyone will denounce me. They only have this one city, right? Yep, only nine points from cities. Oh, I have coal. Where's my coal? Oh, over here. I moved out of the way of it just in time. You know, if you, if you keep spying on me, then I will see your actual defeat scene. No, I'm not going to backstab him. I don't really backstab people. Not unless they're about to win the game. Or if they kill my city-state. What I don't understand is, one time, I was playing Morocco, I think it was. And Genghis Khan, who was my friend at the time, attacked my city-state that I was protecting. So I denounce him, and then declare war on, on him. And apparently that's not a good thing to do to defend your city-state, so everyone denounced me, and then attacked me. Even though I was defending my city-state, it was not an act of just pure betrayal. Don't know why they do that. I wish people would actually see reasons why you're going to war. Well, there is if you liberate your city-state. That's the only way that they don't count warmongering. Stop bullying my city-state. We're gonna wind up fighting in the end, okay? Just wait until then to bully my states, okay? There's little to no chance that Assyria will be defeated. Oh, I can kill these guys in one shot. Good job! A caravel just ran into my guy and died. Nice work. I'm not even gonna fire on your units. Going straight for the city. Oh, you know what? Uh, it'll take me a while to get there because of the Great Wall. And I can't run a turtle ship into it. But I can kill all your crossbowmen. This is the weirdest music. Usually the ambient soundtracks, that's not the right word. But the ones that everyone has, like all the Asian have all the Asian Siths have the same music that plays. This one doesn't really sound Korean. I would have placed it as Siamese or something. I don't think Sweden will take over Monaco. These guys are only replacements for riflemen, I'm pretty sure. Riflemen are musketmen, I forget. Oh yeah, I can't really move you, so just stay put. I don't know why I built you. Oh, I can kill your general. If I move both of these riflemen at the same time, they can't kill both in three turns, I'm pretty sure, because it will take three turns. Either way for me to move them and attack the city. Speaking of moving, I can move you ahead. Once I move him here, on this farm on the desert, how does that make sense? Then I'll move them both at the same time. Where's Babylon's army? Is it in Sweden? It must be, because it's not in Babylon. 
Oh, it's right there. Yeah, now I'm the ally of Biblos and Wittenberg. Alright, you just move ahead. Killed a Hunnic spy. Come on, stop spying on me. Why don't you spy on Assyria? I'm pretty sure you all denounced him. Oh, everyone except the Celts hates him. Oh, you just heal. As long as these people don't attack this rifleman, the city will... I, I promise you, the city will attack the wounded rifleman. They always attack wounded units before other units. That's why I tend to let my strong units get wounded. And then push them ahead because they won't die. Yeah, I forgive you, whatever. I don't really care. The point is, your spy died. Byzantium's still holding up. Barely. There, what you can do. Get cover so you don't die. And pillage and move. Alright, we're going to attack them now. I'm gonna have both of these people not fire on the city, but fire on the riflemen instead. Or musketmen. Oh, don't die. Move here. Because in one turn, I'm pretty sure I can knock the city down to zero health. Are the Huns at war with Assyria? I thought they were at one point. Oh no! This guy almost died. I don't want to pillage the marble. Actually, do I have marble? No, so I'm not going to pillage it. So it looks like you're going to die. Oh, this isn't good. They have a musketman in the way. So he has to die, definitely. Oh, you know what, I think I have to pillage, I'm sorry. Whatever, fine. You're making me do this. So next turn, Babylon should be mine. But I think I'll end the episode there, I really don't have a lot of time to record. Alright, you can just go to Edinburgh, I don't really care. You need to move ahead also. I really don't think they can kill both of those people. We'll find out soon. Oh, Sweden made peace with people. That's good. I hope. Oh, they don't backstab me. I'm not even friends with them, they won't backstab me. Yes, you're dead, I'm sorry. They didn't even try to kill this guy. Ooh, antiquity sites. I just discovered archaeology. Um, I'll talk about archaeology next time, after I defeat Babylon. Goodbye. That's what you get. But my revenge! I had my revenge on you for building all your wonders and declaring war on me, even though revenge for declaring war on me was actually taking these cities. You're dead. And people will denounce me, and I don't care. Next time we're going to learn about archaeology. Well, I'm going to talk at you about archaeology. And we'll have to deal with everyone denouncing us, I'm pretty sure.